Oh, ah, I'm so happy, you guys. We finally did it. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry before I even say one little thing. What is going on if you are new here welcome my name is Jenna and I have an online crystal shop called pretty crystals where I sell crystals for healing happiness and home decor all of the good things and this is another crystal Saturday episode where I just sit down with you guys and we have a fun high vibe crystal chit chat so welcome i am so 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 excited and i feel so grateful because i finally am in my new place if you have been following me for a bit it has been a little bit of a journey to get myself into this apartment if it looks the same by the way it's because it is the same i moved within my same building complex just to an apartment with a little more square footage because let me tell you the pretty crystals were not having it in that other place like they just did not fit i had a really intense few days of moving and i'm finally in my new spot i'm so happy i want to try not to cry it's been really really i feel like a long time coming it's just um happy to be here so anyway today i wanted to do a good old-fashioned haul for you guys i have so many amazing amazing crystal pieces that i want to show you the majority of them are going to be like big statement pieces you probably know that is my fave i've been a little more like mia on instagram than usual just because i have been so busy with the move and a lot of personal stuff going on so i feel like we're back in business, baby, and I'm just so excited. One last update before we get into the video. I was supposed to be in Denver this weekend. We were gonna leave yesterday. What's today? I never know what day it is. We were gonna leave on Wednesday, so I was gonna be there until Monday. If you don't already know, Denver puts on a huge gem show every year. I have never been. I've only been to the Tucson show and i was just so stinking excited that they were still hosting it so of course i was like we have to go we have to go it got to the day before we were supposed to leave and i kid you not i was so tired i could barely open my eyes i could barely move i could barely even think straight this is coming off of the two days where i had to move the majority of my stuff by myself my mom wasn't comfortable coming to help me just with covid and um there's like some fires near her area so anyway i was pretty much alone it was just so draining and so exhausting and these last i think it's been four weeks i've been on like i think four different trips pretty much back to back to back and i just came to the executive decision if you will that it was just going to be too draining and too much and i didn't want to push it and a big believer in um listening to your body and if your body's really telling you to rest and take a minute I was like, I have to listen to this. As much as it pained me to not be able to experience Denver, you know what? God willing, it's gonna be there next year and we can go then. So that is just a little backstory of why I'm not in Denver this weekend. But not to worry, I have a ton of incredible inventory and I will be doing my live sale tomorrow, Sunday um, at five o'clock PST. Thanks to them so, so much and I'm just excited to be back. So much of the stuff you see in this video will be available tomorrow on my live and definitely follow me on the gram so you can be updated with all of that kind of stuff. So that's that. Don't you love this blanket? I got myself a little Labor Day present it's from West Elm and I'm literally obsessed. So without further ado, let's just hop right into the crystal haul. Let's start off with an absolute bang. This is probably my favorite piece and I'm very tempted to keep her, but um, she's gonna be for sale. And this is this beautiful black onyx unicorn. Ugh, I cannot even describe to you like what this piece makes me feel. Actually, it was Jenny that picked it up and showed it to me. I was, ugh, I just like my heart stopped. I, I just, 
I love it so much. Onyx comes from Mexico and I haven't done a ton of work personally with Onyx, but I do know it to be a protective stone and known to transmute negative energy, which is just so, so vital, especially in these times that we're going through. So to have like a protective crystal unicorn, I mean, what more could you freaking want? On that same note, I found a few of these beauties, also Onyx from Mexico, and I did find quite a few of them. Um, I'm so nervous about these because they're so, so, so fragile. Unfortunately, like three of them, maybe four, was it four? Got damaged in my move and I was so sad. I do have probably four of them that are perfectly intact and they're just these baby unicorns. Oh, how could you not love these babies? Um, I got this piece on my first buying trip to Oregon and I'm not usually like the biggest fan of Smokies like there's ones here and there that I drawn to but this piece is so so perfect to me I was so drawn to it and the main reason a, it just kind of like sits very I don't know symmetrically is not the right word but it just like looks aesthetically pleasing if you will and when I looked at it closer, I realized it had this like gorgeous grapey purple color to it. And I was so intrigued, actually self-healed with lithium. So you'll see that on this leg, it was broken. It has these beautiful purple little crystals that have formed and that is its way of self-healing. Uh, I just, I think that's so, so cool and beautiful. And what a freaking statement piece. Like it just, she speaks for herself next I up i have this pink amethyst on a stand it is coated with this like golden bronze whatever you want to call it this one just happens to be so unique in that it's on this stand and it has that gorgeous gorgeous bronze color to it as well so this would just look so great sitting anywhere in the home and i know i have a lot of pink amethyst lovers out there i mean how can you not love it but uh, yeah, this was just a very very beautiful unique piece definitely fell in love with it next up I found this beauty and it was a thousand percent one of a kind there was nothing else there like it so i knew i had to have her and she is this beautiful calcite piece with pyrite and galena now the pyrite and galena are a little more tricky to find but there are little baby chunks and not only that but the galena is kind of like speckled in there too so if you look really closely you see that it's like speckled kind of like I don't know freckles and on the back is where you can really see those little pyrite formations again just kind of like speckled in there and pyrite and galena to me is such like a power combo have that grounding energy mixed with that manifestation energy so powerful and connecting to that energy of your solar plexus chakra which is just our personal power and I just feel that this piece would be a very like invigorating Kind of charging piece to have and another great one to put your jewelry on and charge your jewelry i'm a huge fan of using crystals especially the ones that lay flat as like jewelry holders because you can kind of just throw your necklace or rings or whatever on them overnight and then you have a nice freshly charged piece of jewelry that you then wear for the rest of the day and you're good to go with those high vibes Next up, just an absolute staple that I have here, which is just your basic clear quartz tower. I think everyone, whether you're super into crystals or not, um, should definitely have a clear quartz tower. Just so powerful in raising the vibration of the room and in turn raising your vibration, which can literally just change the whole trajectory of your life. And they look good anywhere, like literally anywhere match everything um yeah you can put a clear quartz tower absolutely anywhere so i love these guys this one specifically is very very full of rainbows too which is absolutely lovely i just sold another really really big clear quartz tower probably the biggest one i've ever had actually um if i can remember i'll insert some footage but that was a beauty as well so 
these are a must-have i have learned over the last few weeks that rose quartz is a very 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 dense crystal meaning that like it's really fucking heavy <laughs> so i got a few of these bowls when i was down in la the difference yeah. of the and I've just been using it on my kitchen counter to hold my sage and palo santo I'm gonna put that down. It's really heavy. So they're obviously multi-purpose I mean you could use it for so many things, but I just love the way it looks uh, with the sage in there and the palo santo as well Which definitely made me want to light this for a minute Mmm I do have a few of those rose quartz bowls left. I don't know what to call them. Bowls, ashtrays. I feel like it would be weird to say like rose quartz ashtray. Let's go with rose quartz bowls. Next up, I have a stunning piece of apophyllite. To me, along with celestite, apophyllite is definitely one of the most angelic crystals there are so if you're into angel connections or if you're just dabbling with wanting to experience angel connections apophyllite would be a wonderful crystal to do that with and this is just such a magical chunker also has a lot of rainbows it has some still bite as well you'll very very often see apophyllite and still bite together they're like bffs spongebob and patrick if you will yeah i love this piece and it stands up on its own so 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 beautifully so voila next up i have this gorgeous amethyst flower not only is the color everything like look at this kind of like ombre goodness um but it's just so shimmery and sparkly and delicate i think is the right word delicate a uh, very feminine delicate beautiful piece i have been searching high and low for good acrylic crystal stands most of the stands you'll see are wooden which i don't like i'm not a fan of wooden things or you'll see like black metal and not really a fan of those either when i found these i was like yes i got a lot of them so they will be available if you guys want to purchase one for yourself but this is just such a freaking vibe i know it's like hard to see but that's everything that is really 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 everything all right so here is another piece that could potentially sit flat or it could be displayed upright like this i will say i do like pieces like this um to be flat because you can put other stuff on them so it almost serves as like a beautiful uh tray amethyst piece would be so good for that this is another piece i got in la and it is absolutely stunning very like artsy if you will like definitely looks like an art piece and i just absolutely love her so oh so heavy uh this is i think the last piece i'm going to show you guys um i got a lot of raw rose quartz pieces the last wholesaler that i went to in oregon had like uh not like a field of rose quartz but like quite a lot of raw rose quartz pieces outside which was a crystal lover's dream so i picked out a ton of pieces i feel like scattering these raw rose quartz pieces around your home or even your garden if you have one is even better this looks so so wonderful and brings in that love energy love and gratitude those are the most powerful vibrations you could possibly hold so just bringing in that love energy is everything these pieces are a beautiful way to do it they're just Ugh, stunning i think i'm gonna put a big one in my bathroom on the um counter and also in my kitchen so you could do so many things with this oh my god i'm out of breath because this is so stinking heavy <gasps> All right, guys, that does it for today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all the things. I really, really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you're not already, please follow me on the gram. My personal is at Jenna Ellis, and my crystal page is at Pretty Crystals. At this point in time, before I revamp the website, that is the best way to get in touch with me and to purchase a Pretty Crystal. Typically, I do my live sales on Sundays at 
5 o'clock PST. So tomorrow I hope to see you there. It's going to be a lot of fun and I will have most of these pieces available for you guys if you want to pick one out for yourself. I'm really excited for what's to come in the future. I am revamping my website which is going to be a really big project but once it's done it's going to be amazing and you can shop so many good things on there from crystals to even home decor uh, pieces, beauty items, like a lot of really really fun stuff. It's going to be really really good. I think that's it. I feel like there's usually more but I think that's it. In that case I will cheers you. I bought some kombucha today. I'm waiting on my homebrew kombucha to be done. It usually takes about a week and I need to get more jars so I can make more. I'm like obsessed with making my own kombucha now. But for now, this is some store-bought stuff, but still really good. Here's to you wherever you are on this life journey. We're in it together. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. By the way, I finally got to utilize this baby. I have it just sitting on my TV stand and I'm so obsessed with her. And then over here, oh my God, you may have remembered, um, I got this piece of rose quartz maybe like a month ago, placed in California. It was 200 freaking pounds. Um, my mom, who is like a power lifter, she was able to lift it. This is her right here. Isn't she so cute? Hi, mom. <laughs> Even when the bus <laughs> hit my car, uh, this was in the back seat. So finally got her back and I was like, I'm never going to be able to get this inside. It's so stinking heavy. So one of my friends who he's such a saint, he came over and hung all of my like pictures and my TV and all that. He literally grabbed this out of my car and I was like, oh my God, dude, you're so strong. Threw it on a dolly and we brought her in. So these are my new candle obsession. I have fallen in love with Voluspa candles and they sell them in a lot of like, um, you know, little boutiques. So every time I travel now, I buy myself a Voluspa candle. I don't even want to like burn them. I just want to collect them and hoard them because I'm 